Good morning, Arizona. Welcome back. And on the border watch this morning, President Biden visited the border in El Paso, Texas yesterday. In fact, it was the first time to the border since taking office for President Biden. He met with local leaders, promising to get them more support to deal with the growing number of folks that are crossing into the U.S. He plans to expand the legal pathways for migrants seeking asylum, but also putting a limit on illegal immigration. And today, the president is in Mexico City to take part in the North American Leaders Summit. And he's expected to talk about immigration with leaders from Mexico and Canada. And so joining us live now from Mexico City with more on the president's agenda, White House correspondent John Decker. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Gina. Colton, hello. How are you doing today? Not bad. And, you know, uh, I guess we should say buenos dias. But, uh, you yeah. know, before we uh, look forward, let's take a look back at yesterday and that uh, visit to the border at El Paso. Obviously, immigration, an issue that is near and dear to our hearts here in Arizona. So what will actually come of the visit and uh, how has the White House dealt with the criticism that the president is just now finally coming to visit the border? Well, that's right. It's been two years and Democrats are calling yesterday's visit to El Paso, uh, a border town that has been inundated by migrants over the last few years as just a photo op. Uh, the president comes here to Mexico City. Uh, the number one issue uh, that will be the topic of conversation between President Biden, his counterparts from Mexico and Canada, the issue of immigration. What President Biden wants is some assurances coming from Mexico's president that he will tighten security at Mexico's southern border, trying to prevent that huge influx of migrants coming from Central and South America, which ultimately ultimately makes it to the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, in addition to that, uh, assurances from Mexico that it's going to take back tens of thousands of migrants who uh, came into the U.S. illegally, namely from four countries, Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. Uh, that is something the president needs to come away from this meeting with. It's a two-day meeting. The other major issue on the agenda, trade. Uh, the U.S. and Mexico have an enormous amount of trade, record amount last year, $380 billion, 19% increase over the year before. And so many com uh, companies in the U.S. have moved their manufacturing facilities from China to Mexico. So supply chain issues, also a big topic of conversation. Now, John, of course, when it comes to international relations, it's like, you know, this is what we want to do. This is what we expect you to do. What does Mexico want to see from the U.S. out of this meeting from the president? A big issue for Mexico, it, Mexico is the large record amount of illegal guns coming into Mexico, which has fueled their gang wars, their drug wars. So that's a big topic. Yesterday, when the president was in El Paso, uh, he met with border patrol agents. They showed him what they're doing uh, to make certain that illegal contraband doesn't come across the U.S. border in either direction. So uh, certainly President Biden will, will talk about that and, and hopefully uh, meet some of the requirements that Mexico has been speaking about. The other big issue for the U.S., for President Biden, illegal drugs. Uh, we're talking about fentanyl in particular. That's an issue that uh, is a bipartisan issue in the U.S. and something that the president has said is important to him as well. John, let's bring this back full circle, back to immigration. And, you know, so often we, we see this huge influx because of the financial and social issues uh, throughout Central and Southern uh, uh, America. So I'm wondering, what is the talk about alleviating and addressing some of those issues so that you stop the flow to begin with? Well, obviously, for so many migrants that uh, want to come to the U.S., they see opportunity in the U.S., financial opportunity, economic opportunity. What the president announced last week at the White House is a legal path for migrants from four specific countries, the ones that I mentioned earlier, to come to the U.S. But in order to do that, they must meet certain requirements, including having a financial sponsor in the U.S. That would allow them to have a two-year work permit in, in the states. Uh, and what we're seeing is a mixed reaction coming to that proposal that the president offered up last week. You know, it's been a record amount of migrants over the past two years. 
uh, during President Biden's first two years in office. 1.7 million arrests at the U.S.-Mexico border in President Biden's first year in office, 2.4 million this past year. And that's the reason why uh, the president traveling here to Mexico, President Biden being the first president since President Obama back in 2014 to make this trip to Mexico, but major issues on the agenda. Yeah, and a lot of uh, things to work through. John, thank you so much.